We came to play all the way to the end. The last game on the final night. We came to win. They are going to the final four. Take it. Player in women's college basketball, and she have, has lived up to it. At every turn, she can score in special ways, averaging 23 points a game in the tournament. A fantastic passer. She delivers to her teammates with precision, and her greatest gift is the ability to sense the moment and seize the moment. She's done that throughout the tournament. Becker's averaging 20.1 points per game, most by a freshman in UConn history. She is the first ever freshman to win AP Player of the Year. For more on Payne, trip to the national championship game is on the line, and we are underway with UConn. The defender for Connecticut. McDonald coming off back-to-back 30-point -back games and starts with a three. In the early going from Arizona, though. Here's Becker snaking around, doubled, tried to bounce it inside, and that's going to be a jump ball. Arizona has the possession arrow after the tie-up. Paige Becker has brought the ball up. Yaney kicks, Thomas connects on a three. Sam Thomas shooting it at 47% from three or last 14 games. That won't go. Edwards the offensive rebound. Beckers will pop and hit from downtown. The fresh ended up on a bigger, stronger player, and Arizona doing a great job trying to post her. McDonald catch, fire, and hit. Harry McDonald has to draw defensive attention, and here just a simple run out to the three again. Kristen initially was scored against Westbrook, so huge second foul on Nelson Adota. Here is Beckers through the lane, got hit. Beckers herself, and, and Paige kind of talked about it. Williams back to Beckers, 15 on the shot clock. About a 19 second difference game in shot clock. Beckers leans, can't hit, rebound saved by Yaney. And Arizona can hold for one. McDonald quickly into the front court. She wants to go, and that's why. Harry McDonald joking with Adia Barnes as she came back down the floor. Eight points now for McDonald. Five seconds left in the quarter. Williams will take, can't hit, and what a strong start for Arizona. A catalyst, Ari McDonald on the bench with foul trouble. Deckers inbounds, Williams hits the jumper. Five, Hellington gives it up, Thomas a deep one, he is good! McDonald for Arizona, her willingness to take those threes and then ability to make them. And now a travel from UConn. Sam Thomas says, senior, I gotcha. Steps in, hits the three, and Ari McDonald says, I see that you got me. Got away from Beckers. McDonald trying to separate. Shot clock down to five, McDonald, oh baby! <laughs> I mean, look at this. Kristen Williams says, do I really need to have my hand up? McDonald with three seconds left in the half. McDonald puts it up and can't hit. That will do it for the first. Ware wants it, has it, falls and tosses it to UConn. Here's Beckers in transition. Paige Beckers gets fouled as she leaves. Great job against her, but she can't hide. NCAA.com, the home for all 90 NCAA championships. Beckers connects on a long two. Really nice job. McDonald splits the defense. Beckers got a hand on it. Baptiste connects. On a 10 point Arizona lead. Yaney through the lane, lays it in. Williams double. Nelson Adota finds Beckers. Beckers mid range, got it. 
Justin Adota, the juniors who have experience playing in a semifinal game, but in very different roles than they have now. Wow, that's going to be called a block against Williams. I don't know if you can be any more set than she was. Paige Beckers not in agreement. In front, two minutes and 15 seconds to go in the third. McDonald yet to score in this quarter, and she's fouled there. She has a taller, longer Paige Beckers on her. Step through. I think the officials got Paige with the. She's like Sammy Davis Jr. Never goes in a really nice job by Arizona to understand that they have the lead and to have the patience to get out of the game now. Her teammates have done such a good job. Adia Barnes giving her a little rest at the end of the third. Westbrook knocks down the corner three. Here comes Beckers. Beckers elevates, can't hit, but was fouled by. And everybody else just does enough to make everything. Wayo into Baptiste, her turnaround, no good. Williams the rebound and a chance here for Connecticut. Beckers traveled. Beckers traveled as McDonald. What he has to do is, as you take another look at, ah, uh, yeah, great job by Aaron McDonald. Thomas thought about a three, barrels in and gets the whistle against Beckers, who is down. You can't take advantage with Reese and Ware in foul trouble. Nelson Adota on the bench right now. McDonald separates and hits. Thomas come over and say to her teammate, uh-uh, uh-uh, <laughs> when she was complaining about the call. But first you have the Ari McDonald step back, going left. McDonald weaving, kicking, Baptiste, six to shoot. Baptiste sheds Beckers in. Out from Nelson Adota. Connecticut has missed its last six shots. Williams connects. With a little bit of pressure to try to not let Arizona take too much time off the clock. Shot clock inside of 10. McDonald through the lane, McDonald stops on a dime, banks it in, and the foul! And Connecticut, <laughs> three players on that possession trying to defend her, and she steps through and finishes. Mule kicks it out, Westbrook leans in and flips it home, it's an eight-point game. The tempo and the physicality for four quarters. McDonald slides in, just couldn't finish. Here comes Beckers. Still time for UConn. Beckers unable. Yes, she gets the roll. Easy buckets missed by Connecticut. This wasn't one of them. This is a hard take. Drive rattles around but goes through for Paige Beckers. Do they have enough Ryan? <laughs> I don't know. Zona three. Both teams in the bonus as Mule gets free. The last seven for Arizona. Under a minute and a half to go. Beckers connects on a three. Beckers around the screen. Beckers inside. Edwards able to catch and finish. It's back to five. Mule speeding across. Mule looking for Beckers, finds her. Beckers hawked by McDonald. Beckers leaning, doesn't get the roll. Griffin saves, out of bounds, Arizona ball. Reese got the second to drop. It's an eight point Arizona lead. Connecticut needs threes, they need him in a hurry. They're not gonna get him. The steal from Yaney. And the celebration is on for Arizona. It's all cosmetic at this point. Arizona is not done yet. Ari McDonald, Adia Barnes, and the Wildcats will play for the national championship.
Connecticut suffers its fourth straight semifinal loss in the NCAA tournament. You cannot say enough about what Adia Barnes and her team have done in this postseason. The belief they have had in one another. And they were led once again by Ari McDonald, but it wasn't just Ari McDonald. Her teammates continue to step up in the moment. Offensively as they celebrate their identity defensively. Wow, what a game and performance by Arizona. Saluting their fans going wild here as this magical ride continues for the Arizona Wildcats. There weren't many who gave Arizona a shot tonight against UConn. The Wildcats are used it's hard to get here, and I mean, we were doing the things that, that got us here. That's hard work, tenacious defense, and playing together, most importantly, having fun. Tell me about your defense, because you hold UConn almost 20% below their regular shooting percentage. How did this defense show up time and time again in every single moment? It was that grit. I mean, we didn't want to go home once again, and we're proving it. We're locking down, and we're playing team defense. So, I mean, this is our identity, and we're, we're best at defense. You know, defense wins games, and we did that tonight. Adia, you said that you two are built for this moment. What do you see in this young woman next to you that lets you know she's ready for this stage? We always say we're built different. We're not afraid. Like, we're against the odds. We uh, People chose us. No one thought we'd win. No one thought we'd be here. We don't care. We believed in each other. We believed our, our team believed. We knew we we're going to bear down and fight. And that, that's they play with their hearts. And um, that's what we did. And we're, we're not the best offensive team, but we're some some real defensive players and we play hard so i'm just proud and we always say we're built different i think we're built different you guys did hit big shots tonight and you did say you know all the pressures on uconn to win this game so when they pull within five points at the end of this game how did you avoid getting tight and feeling that pressure both of you i mean i think that we're just confident what we do we we we, we felt like we controlled the tempo for like three and a half quarters so they did make their runs. We knew we were going to take their punches, but we just had to, 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 get, to get some defensive stops. And I think we had timeouts, and I felt like we had momentum and controlled most of the game. They're a really good team, though. We know they've, they've stolen a lot of games down the stretch, so it was not comfortable at all. They made big plays, but I, th I felt like we played some really good defense. Okay, Ari, you know this next opponent very well. This is a Pac-12, all Pac-12 national championship game. What will it take to beat the Stanford Cardinal? Um defense first most importantly and just you know like you said we've seen them before um this is our third time matching up with them so i mean we got to take with the defense give us a uh, knockdown shots and we have to rebound and play together all right i have a feeling you're going to be in the promo video for the national championship we better, be, that sound? We better be in the next <laughs> promo stop leaving us out stop counting us out Facts. all right ladies Facts. thank you well, I don't think anyone's going to count them out ever again. Arizona headed to its first national championship game. They take down UConn 69 to 59, the final. From producer Kerry Callahan, director Jimmy Platt, Holly Rowland, China Robinson.